Um, hi. I'm here to tell you about what are probably the two strongest weapons for the demo man at the moment. The lock and load and uh, the quickie bomb launcher, which I believe a couple of people asked me to do, oh, I don't know, a year ago. And I recorded all of that a while ago, so my response time is pretty good, I think. But I'm just gonna start with the lock and load and then do the quick bomb launcher and then the combination lock and load and Taco Bell. Uh, quickie bombs. Also, there will be some uh, clips with the sticky jumper because, well, I have a problem. By the way, the fact that you can't do explosive jumping at the start of a round anymore is uh, not my favorite thing. It made sense to me if they were to do that for matchmaking, but they didn't seem to do that. I, I don't get it. Alright, so you know, I think the lock and load has a lot of issues. Mainly, as with most weapons I would like to see rebalanced, it's the fact that it kind of sucks to play against this thing. It's uh, pretty frustrating to dodge the faster pipes and uh, yeah, it can be really difficult. And it just feels like you have uh, no choice against someone using the lock and load. It's much more a matter of them missing their shots than it is you actually dodging. And the reason stock pipes are fine is because they are slow and they have a limited range. And therefore, pretty easy to dodge. And compared to the stock pipes, there's really only one drawback that really matters for the lock and load. And that is the fact that you cannot spam pipes to temporarily deny an area. So that would be something like spamming pipes at a sniper so he can't stand in that spot. But the thing is though, that with the extra range you get with the lock and load, you can instead much easier just direct pipe the sniper for 100 damage. So it's actually more of a trade off than a drawback. And you're also trading your short range blind spam that you can do for longer range spam. But you're probably more likely to do more damage with the lock and load than the rollers anyway. But you do lose that option. And only having three pipes instead of four is not a big deal as you can kill any class with three pipes. And you're actually more likely to hit them as well. It also reloads pretty quickly, so it's even less of a problem. But basically, you're going to hit more shots, which means more damage. And that's pretty much it. Lastly, we have the smaller explosion radius, which also doesn't really matter. Because it's only for direct pipes anyway. It could have no explosion radius at all, and it would be fine. So the pros outweighs the cons quite a bit with this weapon and sentries are not even a thing with the lock and load. They basically melt by you looking at them. Doesn't really matter where the sentry is or how far away it is or what the NG is doing. It just disappears. I don't know. The extra range and speed of course also means you can hit pipes that should be impossible for the demo man to hit. That uh, extra distance is pretty insane. So I would still probably like to see this weapon either do less damage to players or add uh, fall of damage. So it would mainly be used to destroy buildings. Alright, so the quick bomb launcher actually has similar problems as the lock and load, but you're actually giving up something pretty huge by not being able to set sticky traps. Although I am not a big fan of sticky traps, I find them pretty boring, but you know, they are very useful. So with the combination of faster arm and uh, charge time with the quickie bombs, you are actually able to do more damage per second than the stock launcher, which is perhaps a bit weird. But I guess that's why they call it quickie bombs. 
So the trade-off compared to stock stickies is basically either you do more damage quicker or you get to use long-term sticky traps. Now I think the quicker bomb launcher is most of the time going to be the better choice unless you are playing very seriously uh, with a e team and are communicating and holding choke points and such which is when the stock is at its strongest but the quicker bombs are just better at dealing with unexpected situations and also does more damage so like the lock load it's easier to kill every class in a one versus one situation but you do lose the ability to pick them up with traps so basically it's uh, a more offensive uh, weapon which makes it easier to do damage at any distance but it's also better at actually defending yourself from people trying to get close so it's really good also probably the best crit weapon of course you can also destroy enemy stickies with this thing so it might have a little too much going for it I think but honestly I would probably like to see all sticky launchers be rebalanced to be less spammy I don't exactly know how you would do that but a smaller clip and maybe make sticky traps stronger with less stickies or take less damage from sticky jumping or bigger explosion radius again I don't know someone figured it out well anyway the lock and load and the quickie bombs work really well together both weapons are better at killing pretty much everything and uh, both have that extra distance advantage so for example if you pipe a scout which are you know easier to hit with the lock and load you can then finish him up with a sticky which are you know easier to hit with the quicker bomb launcher so even scouts are less of a counter basically alright yeah okay these weapons are pretty good could really use some tweaking especially the lock and load mostly because it's not fun to play against that's all I got also sorry about not uh, uploading in a while been a little occupied lately and I'm also moving to a new apartment pretty soon so yeah might be slow oh hey if anyone is still looking for a matchmaking beta pass I think I got five or so to spare so if you want one post a comment on my steam group page and I'll get you one all right, say bye.